Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right. Here we are working on the showcase of the independents. We are the ninth of 31 independent companies here in January of 2024. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely been a fun ride watching all these matches, watching all these shows to do these videos. And so next up for the 9th of January, we are doing Progress Wrestling out of London, England. Progress Wrestling, I found it, started watching Progress 2018-ish, um, before NXT, or right around the same time as NXT UK, um, a lot of the talent was pulled over to NXT, was able to do both shows, and then WWE kind of went, you gotta pick one, you can't do both, and then they kind of took a lot of the top talent, um, but I would say over the last two or three years, since the pandemic especially, Progress Wrestling has done a lot to build themselves back up as one of the elite uh, independent pro wrestling companies in the UK. Um, British Strong Style is alive and well, not only with Progress Wrestling, with Red Pro, with North Wrestling. So yeah, there's a ton of talent over in the UK, ton of United States talent that actually go over there and do shows and Japan talent that come over there. So it's great to see if you're a pro wrestling fan. All right, so... In 2023, Progress Wrestling had 18 shows, 145 matches, 111 men's, 33 women's, and one intergender. The Progress Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion Spike Treve, 499 plus days. The Progress Wrestling Atlas Champion Rookie Knight Jr., 317 days. The Progress Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the Smoking Aces, Charlie Sterling, and Nick Riley, 226 plus days. And then the Progress Wrestling Women's Champion, Rio, at 79-plus days. So of those 145 matches, we're going to run down the 23 best matches of 2023 for Progress Wrestling. All right. Number 23 would come from Chapter 149. Danny Luna and Raven Creed teaming up versus the Elena Austin Experience, L.A. Taylor and Sky Smithson. Danny Luna, Raven Creed getting the victory. I gave it three and a half. Number 22. Matter of fact, the next three all come from Progress Wrestling Chapter 148. Start spreading the news. The Progress Wrestling World Tag Titles on the Line Champion, The Sunshine Machine, Chuck Mambo and TK Cooper versus Light Ghost Jam, Kid Light Ghost and Kid Light Ghost 2. Sunshine Machine retaining their titles. I gave that three and a half. Number 21 comes from chapter 148. We had Axel Tischler versus Ricky Knight Jr. Ricky Knight Jr. getting the victory. I gave that one three and a half. Next up, number 20 from the same progress, chapter 148. We had Big Damo and Warren Banks teaming up versus the 0121. I say 01, you say 21. Dan Maloney, Zilla Maloney in, in New Japan. Teaming up with his tag team partner, man, Mike DeReese. Big Demo and Warren Banks getting the victory. I gave it three and a half. Number 19 comes from Progress Wrestling. Gene Money's Daft Lad Emporium on March 7th. We had Kid Lycos teaming up with TK Cooper versus LJ Cleary, Cleary and Millie McKenzie. 21st century badass Millie McKenzie. Kid Lycos and TK Cooper getting the victory. I gave that three and a half. Number 18 comes from Chapter 161, Unboxing five, or Unboxing 6 and a movie. This was the December 31st show. We had Eddie, Eddie fucking Dennis returning, going up against Kid Lycos. Kid Lycos getting the victory there. I gave that three and three quarter star match. This was Kid Lycos without the mask. Because um, chapter 160, I believe it was. Yeah, it's, is it 160? I believe it was 159 or 160, and I thought I had it on here. Hmm. I thought that was on here. Anyway, he had a match against Spike Treve for the title. It was title versus mask. And it should, oh, it's actually coming up next. Okay, there we go. No wonder I couldn't find it. it was, yeah, chapter 160. So, okay. Are right, coming up here. So, okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, it was a really good match. Why didn't I have it on here? 
So Eddie Jones versus Kid Lycos. Kid Lycos getting the victory, his first without the mask. I give it three and three quarter star. Number 17 comes from the same unboxing in a movie, Chapter 161, Street Fight, Simon Miller and Tate Mayfield Mayfairs. Um, this has actually been an ongoing feud with these two. Simon Miller is the typically the uh, the uh, host of the show. Um, he took over for because they've had a couple different hosts since originally they had Jim Smallman. Um, Simon Miller lost the street fight to Tate Mayfairs, so we find out the next show exactly what his plans for the future are. I think it's what it, they were saying. I gave that three and three quarters as well. Now we have number 16 is that Progress Wrestling Chapter 160 Vendetta. Progress Wrestling World Heavyweight Title Line, no disqualification versus mask. So it's Patriot Treve versus Kid Lycos, Kid Lycos mask on the line versus the title in a no disqualification match. Spike Treve retained his title and Kid Lycos had to unmask. Um, in the Lucha Libre wrestling environment, the masks mean everything. Um, and just like what Kid Lycos said, for him, it's, it's kind of been his identity this whole time. And to be able to you know take it off and people accept him and everything, uh, I think that really did a lot for him. I mean, I say right now he's one of the top faces over there. Um, but yeah, I definitely love seeing him continue wrestling. Like you said, we had a three and three quarter star match versus Eddie Dennis. So yeah, talented guy. Um, can't wait to see what the future holds for him. But he lost that match to Spike Trevay in a three and three quarter star match. Number 15 comes from Chapter 159. We have Progress Wrestling Atlas Championship on the line. Champion Ricky Knight Jr. versus Shirohiro Iri. Ricky Knight Jr. getting the victory there. Three and three quarter star. Chapter 157, number 14 on the list. World title on the line. Um, this was actually the first matchup between Spike Trevay and Kid Lycos. Spike Trevay got the victory. I gave it three and three quarters. But as time went on, that's what led to the, ma the mass versus title match. Number 13, Chapter 156, the ASCA tag out of the line. Champions, the Velocities, Paul June London and Paris da Silva, taking on Boisterous Behavior, Leon Slater and Man Like Therese. Boisterous Behavior getting the victory. I give it three and three quarter star. Number 12 and number 11 both come from Chapter 155, Feel the Noise. On September 9th, Progress Atlas Champion Ricky Knight Jr. going up against Yoshikiri Iomura and Ricky Knight Jr. getting the victory, three and three quarters. And then Mark Haskins versus Man Like Doris and Man Like Doris getting the victory. Also give that one three and three quarters. Number 10 comes from Progress Wrestling Chapter 153, six man tag, The Swords of Essex, Paul Robinson and Will Ospreay. Team with Cal Newman going against CPF, Danny Black, Joe Lando, and Maverick Mayhew, and the Swords of Essex and Colin Newman getting the victory. I give that three and three quarters. Number nine comes from Chapter 153, Strong Style 16 Tournament, Day 2. Strong Style, Super Strong Style Tournament quarterfinal matchup, Kid Lycos versus Nick Wayne, and Kid Lycos getting the victory in a three and three quarter star match. Number 8 comes from Chapter 148, Leo Rush versus Danny Black. Leo Rush getting the victory there in 3 and 3 quarters star. Number 7 comes from Chapter 158. We had a street fight tag team version. Kid uh, uh, Lycos Jim, Kid Lycos, Kid Lycos 2 going against the Smoking Aces, Charlie St Sterling and Nick Riley. The Lycos Jim in the street fight, 4 star match. Chapter 153, number 6 on the list, Super Strong Style 16, Day 3. This is the Super Strong Style 16 Tournament Final with special guest referee, the one, the only, Nigel McGinnis. Mark Haskins versus Kid Lycos, and Kid Lycos winning Super Strong Style 16 in a four-star match. Number 5, Chapter 153. Super Strong Style 16 Tournament Day 2, Progress Wrestling World Tag Titles on the line. Champion the Sunshine Machine, Chuck, Chuck Mambo and TK Cooper going up against the Smoking Aces, Charlie Sterling and Nick Riley. The Smoking Aces getting the victory there in a four-star classic. Number four, 
from the same show. But day one of the Super Strong Style Tournament, Super Strong Style Tournament first round matchup. <laughs> the best wrestler in the world, Will Ospreay, taking on Tate Mayfair's. Will Ospreay continued the winning streak he has and how game good that boy is. Four star match over Tate Mayfield. He made him look good that day. Number three comes from Chapter 151. The Progress Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship on the line in the Steel Cage match. This was Chapter 151 Heavy Metal on April 23rd. Champion Spike Gervais versus former champion Cora Noir. Uh, Noir took it to Spike Gervais. Unfortunately not able to retain his title. But Spike Gervais retained four star match there. Number two on the list comes from Chapter 150. We had Callum Newman and Nick Wayne. Nick Wayne getting the victory there in a four-star match. And then the best match, I thought, of 2023 Progress Wrestling, December 1st. Progress Wrestling Chapter 160, Vendetta. The Progress Wrestling Atlas title on the line. Champion Ricky Knight Jr. versus Lou Jacobs. Ricky Knight Jr. getting the victory. I gave that four and a quarter. So those were the... 23 best matches of 2023 for Progress Wrestling. Um, as, uh, as always, stay tuned to Robert Sports Show as we count down the showcase of the independence and the countdown for the 2024 NASCAR Daytona 500. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day at Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.